Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will be fitting my 0.1 shifter in my Mini Cooper S. somewhat in the screen so I do apologize also there's a few people here today so I already feel a bit of a tip um, in front of everyone so bear with me I'm gonna try and make it as easy as possible um, we're gonna chuck the cart on the ramp first of all get it up start taking off the exhaust the first job okay so obviously we're now underneath the car um, the first job will be to take down the exhaust there are these bolts for my lovely cameraman um, either side my ones are 17s so we'll be doing these two then the V-band at the end, my exhaust will be slightly different to everybody else's standard R53s because I've got a custom one at the moment. Um, so we'll be undoing that. Once that's undone, we'll then be undoing these um, bolts. Again, I am missing a couple, but um, essentially that is what you'll be doing too. should do is you undo it. What are we aiming for? Oh! That. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever seen that come off. Yeah. should be able to take that out of the way. Rest on there. shield there is this main one that goes from here to uh, underneath here and then there is a smaller one that is here and here so we just need to take all of these tiny little ones off I have sprayed them all up so hopefully they can come off nicely and Matt is letting me use his posh snap on tool so hopefully these should come off nicely right okay I'm gonna be honest <laughs> the lighting in here is pretty dire however um, I'm gonna sort of I've started on the inside Obviously this is not the standard, this is actually from Jonathan's one, um, when he had his mini. Why is that not focusing? What? There we go. Um, but it was red to suit his car and obviously I wanted it blue so I powder coated it and kept that as like a little memento. Um, so instead I have that on my shelf in the office now. Anyway, obviously if you've got a, an original, you literally have to grip it, both hands, and basically pull as hard as you can. I remember this taking me no word of a lie probably about 45 minutes just take it off um, because it was really really hard and obviously you don't want it smacking you in the grill which I very nearly did so be careful don't quite know why it cut off there but this is how my one's held on with it's like a tiny little allen key so I'll undo that first then we will be oh, I mean, mine's not actually clicked in anyway but lifting that up and then I've got a tiny little um what is that called cable tie undo that and then the whole thing will come off and i'll just be left with this bit here and then after that it's just from underneath the car okay so all of these are now loosened they don't actually come off as such they'll still be there so you kind of pull it down or at least i've been assured that i can pull it down although it's definitely not as easy as i thought it was going to be what the hell have you done to this mat <laughs> okay two seconds <laughs> Man, what have we actually genuinely done? Why is it not coming down? Oh, you tightened it. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> Start again. One of them. I tightened one of them. <laughs> okay, so now all of those four are undone. They kind of, they don't actually fall out. They stay up there. But I'm holding this up for dramatic effect. Um, it's now all loose. Um, if you come around this side, Jonathan, you can kind of see that my shifter is through this gap. So you can kind of wiggle it down. Next job to do is to take off this white cover. Um, they are sort of clipped all the way around. I have a horrible feeling that I might be damaging at least 10 nails in a five minutes time. So <laughs> I'll be really fussing in a minute, I think, if I break them. But yeah, take the cover off and then we can have access to the cables. I will be replacing my cables while I'm here just so I don't have to do it again in the future. Um, yeah, cover off next. Okay, 
Okay, so the next job will be to take off the cables. However, I've been told that they are going to be really unhappy to come off. So Matt is doing it back up for me um, so we can't have more leverage when we are pulling them off. I don't think I'm going to get this off. You could have done that, Miriam. Oh, man. Easily. He's, he's, he's just beautiful, isn't he? It's the beard. Okay, so we have pulled off the cables off this end and we have pulled them off of this end. We've kind of positioned them so that you can see roughly where we're looking at. Obviously, you won't necessarily need to change your cables. It's just that I'm doing it while we are here. Um, so now they're all off, we can pull these through undo the four bolts that we did back up a minute ago, pull it all down and then replace these cables. So the shifter is now in place. We've kind of bolted up with these four bolts. The cables now need to come through these holes um, and then um, these little bits will clip onto these little bits. And then hopefully we can just adjust things and put this last panel back on the top. These have absolutely no flexibility in it at all. Oh, there they go. Put the wrong one through the wrong half. Yeah, I did worry about that. Have I yeah. actually? Oh. <laughs> oh, that one. See? It's not too bad going in both holes. See? <laughs> That's where we're in that video. <laughs> Keep going. There you go, you're home. Hey, easy done. <laughs>
kind of adjust it from the up, from the upside, from the top side. But I will kind of cut and voice over it accordingly. From now on, though, we're kind of doing up the rest of the bottom. Got the base plate to go on, so we've kind of started off the tape, the bolts to hold it all onto that, and then after that, it is heat shield, I imagine, and then it's all. Awesome. Okay, so we are officially in the car. I'm not going to lie, this is like a couple of months after it's been fitted. So I can well and truly say it has been um, bed in, if you like. I don't mean it doesn't need bed in, but what I mean is I'm now used to it. Um, the gears are actually incredibly short. So that's first, second, third, oh, blimey, what was that? Fourth, fifth, and sixth. Um, the actual to get it in reverse there is a little bit of a knack to it that um i have <laughs> discovered um ordinarily you'd obviously do that from like underneath but on this car i just don't have the upper body strength to be able to lift and pull over and push forward so on my one i literally lift it with my thumb all the way over and then straight forwards and that is now into reverse although to be fair it looks exactly the same because all the gears are so short um to adjust um we have got where have i got my little thing so here are the little uh god no, are they called scrub nuts oh i'm not even looking at it this thing here these can they're just like little allen keys they can turn in and out um according to how far you want it so for example when i get into first you want that first one here to butt up against that metal frame there once you've got it into first, you can go straight forwards. It's basically like a locator screw. Um, you've then got, when you put it into reverse, all the way up, which pulls that lever bar back, all the way over, and then straight forwards. Uh, where are we looking now? Which is then level with that one. So once you've got it in the car, you do need to sort of wiggle it around, work out where all the gears actually belong. However, once you've worked out, you can then locate them all accordingly. Um, if you need to make any other adjustments, you've also got this bar here. Um, there's like a little nut at the bottom, a little nut at the top. That extends or retracts depending on how far over you need um, need that cable to come to be able to get it into gear properly. I would say adjusting it is dead simple. Once you know what you're supposed to be doing with these, these obviously wind in and out. Once you've got it into position, you don't ever have to touch them again. They're all good and they just stay there. So... That is perfect for what I want. 
Lastly, obviously, we've got the customization, which is my favorite bit. Um, obviously, I've gone for the um, carbon fiber shaft here. I've got the um, anodized gear knob, and then I've got the painted, um, I don't know what you'd call that, reverse clip. Anyway, that is painted. That is to match my A on the model mini on the outside. Um, obviously, then I've got the orange cable to match. Um, I've gone for the blue anodized base and then the black 0.1 lettering um, and then the black base at the bottom. Quite literally, anything that I have just listed can be whatever colour you want. That can be anodized, it can be painted, it can be carbon fibre, it can be literally whatever your colour scheme is, you can make it match exactly to how much you want. Um, obviously, with each little upgrade, there is a little bit of a price increase, but genuinely for how perfect it is and how perfect it fits in with the car and then once I've got all my dials and everything all done everything is going to match and I'm going to be really it's going to be worth every penny in that sense um however it does come black as standard and that is also the most popular one we've sold <laughs> so you know it's whatever but some people have had um all black completely black cable everything and then just like a white or a green um gear knob it really is whatever you fancy to match with your car. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video and it has been helpful to you guys who do actually purchase the shifter and it's helpful as well to those who are toying with the idea of whether or not to, whether it's worth it or not. 100% it is worth it. I absolutely love it. It's actually, I think it might actually be my favourite modification I've done to this car so far. Um, and that says a lot to be honest um so yeah i hope you all have all enjoyed it if you've got any questions about the shifter um drop a message below if you've got any suggestions for what you would like to see in another video again another message if you've enjoyed it thumbs up um and hit the subscribe button then you'll get notifications to see when other videos are coming live um and yeah i will see you all in the next video